The phosphory appears to be doing its job as there's now a lot of phosphors for me to vacuum up, but I'm having a bit of a problem with the pool pump. It's leaking a lot. So today, in addition to the normal daily vlog, I'm gonna do a how-to video, starting with how to install a PS1000 seal in a Pentair IntelliFlow variable speed pool pump. This thing is leaking at the pump seal, so I actually have to separate this in half, pull the impeller off. Well, you'll see. First, we're gonna shut off the breaker. The pump is now powered off. Next, we're gonna remove the six bolts that hold the pump together and separate the pump. Turning the pump up on its back, we're going to grab an Allen wrench and we're gonna loosen and remove the pump diffuser. Finally, we'll remove the three screws that hold the back cover plate on. There is a slot back here for a screwdriver and a Phillips head over here for a screwdriver. Holding back the shaft with one screwdriver, we remove the screw from the front of the impeller. And now we unscrew and remove the pump impeller. This right here, this is the source of our leak. It's actually this side right here. This ceramic side almost never wears down. Now we remove the four bolts that are holding the pump housing to the motor. Next, we'll grab a hammer and a screwdriver and just gently bang out the old seal. This is a bad seal. This is a good seal. You can see the edge right up here. You're not supposed to ever touch this. You don't want to get any oil on it. You want to keep it clean. But this is the old one, so I can touch it. You can see where my thumb is, that ring right there is just all chewed up, where well, this one's pristine. First, we want to put a little bead of silicone around this edge. Now, we take our new seal, put it in here, give it just a little bit of a turn to get some even silicone. One and a quarter inch piece of PVC that goes around the seal and a hammer. And the new seal is now in place. Take a bit of some of this any excess silicone in there. Now to replace this side, we gotta pry this old one out without wrecking the impeller. It's not easy. There we go. Let's clean up the old silicone, clean out all of this crap that's embedded in the impeller and really slowing the pump down. I mean, look at all of that. All right, once again, I put in just a little bit of silicone. Here's our new ceramic seal and our old ceramic seal. If you look really closely, um, there's really nothing wrong with this one here. Um, other than this rubber might, you know, be worn out and start leaking. So that's why I'm replacing it. Okay, so this guy goes right in here. You just push down. And that's it, it's seated. Let's give these threads a bit of a cleaning. This goes back onto here. We just screw the impeller back on. Hand tight. Then we put the set screw in there. This is a reverse threaded screw, so it's lefty tighty, righty loosey. Also, just hand tight. Okay, we'll put the pump diffuser back on. These just go snug. Now I'm gonna put the back cover on the motor because there's a screw on the bottom that's impossible to get to. Uh, and I wanna do this before I start doing the, the seals. My old pump seals look pretty good, but uh, we're gonna to need to put some lube on them to uh, you know, make sure they're nice and healthy.
Also the diffuser seal or the diffuser O-ring. Now we marry these two things back together. You want to uniformly tighten these and you just want them to be hand tight. Fill the heron lint pot up with some water. A dry pump is why a seal goes bad. We're going to want to put some lube on this seal. This is regular lube. This is not silicone. The 1000 pump seal is now installed in the Pentair pump and everything seems to be working perfectly. If you happened upon this video because you were searching for how to install pump seals, then right now I'm going to enter a actual daily vlog. We also make travel vlogs. But before you leave, please hit like and subscribe and maybe stick around and watch the rest of the vlog. I'm at the car wash. I'm at the car wash, baby. So while the car gets washed, I'm going to run over to the thrift store and see if there's anything neat. Does anybody need a clock that tells them what day of the week it is? And that's it. Six bucks. Alright, time to go little shoppers. We got a new car coming out. Just a reminder, everybody take their hat off today. Hmm, someone's collection from Maui, Hollywood, Puerto Vallarta, and Cabo San Lucas. Alright, well, there's nothing too particularly exciting here. Bummer. Always love those gems that you find in the thrift store for a few bucks. Taking the dogs out for their daily walk. It's a bummer that I didn't find anything cool at the uh, thrift store. Always like hunting in those places. Oh look, bees. Dog walk, 1.7 miles at a 27.19 pace. That's a little better, but they're still pretty slow. So it's uh, lunch, dinner. It's dinner, dinner time. time. It's dinner time. Deanna's home, it's dinner time. Um, I have an event to go to tonight. Yep. But we're still, we're having some yummy barbecue chicken salads. Delish. And now on to the event. I'm at my filmmaking event, but before I go into there, I wanted to stop to show you this view from Barnesdale Art Park. 